Hey, what's going on, guys? You and me for the win here, and today we are going to be uh, doing episode, I believe, 11 of our Minecraft modding 1.12.2 tutorial. And today we are going to be doing uh, food with potion effects. So, what you want to do is go into objects, items. Wait, first we want to initialize our item. So. To make it simple for me, so that I don't have to make a texture, I'm going to do public static final item ruby underscore apple, because I can't think of anything else to do. New item base. No, not item base. We want to create a new class for this, so Ruby Apple. I can't spell, okay. Ruby underscore Apple. Right, and we will add these. Um, so, first one is the amount of hunger, right? So we want it to be like five, so that would be two and a half. Uh, seven. Let's do seven. And then we want, as saturation, we'll have like 1.2F. I don't know. I don't know saturation levels. And false, we don't want it to be wolf food. And now let's create this class. So create class. Let's put it into dot objects dot items. Need to extend item food. Let's add I has model as an interface. Finish. In, in our register models, we are going to put tutorial mod dot proxy dot register item renderer. Uh, this zero. Inventory. I can't see because this stupid thing's covering it. Inventory. Right, let's add the constructor. So, int float boolean. Right, supering off of that. We want to set. Oh, we need to add one thing. We need to do string name. And in here, we're going to set unlocalized name to name. We're going to set registry name to name. We're going to set creative tab to tutorial mod dot tutorial mod tab. We're going to set is always edible because it's a ruby apple, basically an enchanted apple uh, so we want to set always edible uh, we want to do down here we want to do item in it dot items dot add this right is there any more functions in here we need to add such as like anything um nope okay right and now we're going to add another function so on item use finish item use finish we're going to do uh entity living dot add potion effect new potion effect and we're going to do in here we're going to do mob effects dot so we want it to be regeneration and we're going to add our little parameters for this so uh, 
let's see what's the parameters. Can you tell me what the parameters are, please? Excuse me. Hello. No. You're not going to tell me what the parameters are. Fine. It's duration. So, uh, in seconds, I believe I always get this wrong. I got it wrong for the furthest one. I think it's seconds. So I'm going to put, let's say, uh, 600. That's six minutes. It's ages. Uh, actually, I'll put it to like 300. So it's three minutes. That's probably wrong. Actually, bad math. I don't know. I can't bother to work it out. It's ten minutes. So that's five minutes. Yep, that's five minutes. And then we want the amplifier, which I'm going to set to, uh, I don't know, five, regen five. It's pretty overpowered, but who cares? False, false. And if it would tell me the gosh darn parameters. Right, so yeah, here we've got uh, the potion, which is mob effects regen int duration, int amplifier, uh, ambient, I don't know, I don't remember what that means, I always forget what that means, um, but yeah, and show particles, we don't want to show no particles, and basically if you want to add multiple effects, you can copy this, you can paste it, and just change this, so I'm going to set uh, resistance, and I'm also going to paste it again and set fire resistance um, I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to set uh, what else do they give you? absorption and I'm going to set the absorption to like not, uh, 10 for this right, and you see we still have an error up here all we do to fix this is return super dot on item use finish on item use finish stack world in entity living and that should fix any errors yes no yep there you go uh, and this arrow should go, yep, there we go, perfect, that's it, simple. Now, let's really quickly create our lang and stuff for this, so let's do item dot, what did we call it, ruby underscore apple dot name equal, oh, equal to ruby apple save, close that, let's create our item model, paste, ruby underscore apple, let's go into our ruby apple, change it from dark to ruby, get rid of that, oh, 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 that's wrong actually because I need to put in the texture, which I can do real quick, so, I'm going to grab the texture right now, copy files, yep, done, and uh, I'll see you guys in the game. Alright, so we're now in the world, um, I'm going to do slash effect clear, wait no, effect at s clear, let's clear that effect that I had, which was resistance by the way. And our ruby apple is in the game. It has a working texture. Throw it down, you know. Um, let's just pop that up there. And let's eat it. Oh, and we can't eat it in creative for some reason. I think I did that wrong. So, we'll do slash game mode S. You can see we can eat it. Right, let's eat it. And there you go. Um, okay, so it must only be for 500 ticks. 
No, 300 ticks then. So it's really good, but it's only for 300 ticks. Okay. So we would need to set it for like a few thousand, maybe, if we wanted it to be three minutes. So let's just have a look at this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to mess around with these values uh, off cam. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I've messed around with the values and we're back in game. Alright, so guys, we're back in the world. I'm going to do slash give at s ruby underscore apple. Right, we're going to eat it. Right, and let's see. I set the value to 3000 instead. And yeah, that gives us it for like 2 minutes 30 seconds. So that's okay. Um, that's basically the same as a normal golden apple. I wouldn't say I'm invincible. Uh, let's test how good this actually is. So if I maybe go up here, I don't think I'll survive this. However, we'll find out. I actually took no damage. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Let's go a bit higher up. By a bit higher, I mean a lot higher. You can't remember, we have those absorption hearts too. If we can survive this, then this is a very good apple. Wow. Resistance 5 is good. Let's try this. Right, I teleported myself 300 blocks high. If I survive this... Okay, this apple makes you invincible for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, just down to the resistance by itself. That's pretty good, which means it probably has extremely strong regen, so if I do slash summon, uh, let's see, blaze, alright, alright mate, slash summon, Let's see, what can I summon which does lots of damage? Uh, Elder Guardian, hello sir. Hello good sir. Would you like to zap me with your zappermatron? I mean the resistance kind of counteracts it a bit. You know, it's fine. <laughs> Come on then, mate. Come on. I'll fight you to death. <laughs> um, item... Right. Anyways guys, um, if you did enjoy this video, please do be sure to uh, smash your face into that like button and subscribe. Uh, if you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which I believe is uh, exporting it as a jar file, aka like posting your modern stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.